Hi. Let's have a look at this Microsoft Power Automate community thread. So the question is for a selected item flow not visible in list. So the user created a flow. The trigger he used here is for a selected item trigger. The flow is not visible in the list. Okay, let's build a flow and see what's happening here. So I got multiple environments here for my Power Automate. Yeah, I'm going to go to my dev environment. Okay, and a new flow, and I'm going to say it's an automated flow, and say just skip that. And then here I'm going to select SharePoint and for a selected item. Here it is. Next, I need to select my site name. The list name is called Sports. So let me search it. I should be able to find that now. Okay, sports. Right. Next, um, I'm not going to add much business logic here. All I'm going to add here is a combo statement and uh, just mapping one of the IDs there. Okay, that's it. And here I'm going to say uh, sports item selected uh, flow. Save it. Okay, flow saved successfully right now if i go back here uh, just refresh the screen i'm going to select one of the item and click on the automate i can't see that flow here see why it's not showing it the reason here is i created the flow under my dev environment so this is quite an important uh, things to remember if you are creating a SharePoint flow for for a selected item, you need to create that under the under the default environment. Okay, so let's change this to the this to the default environment. Okay, and I'm going to create again another flow here. So let's go to automated code flow. A search for that selected ah, I can't see it let's skip that now skip that's the easy way to do it SharePoint okay and then I'm going to say for a select item again right and selecting the SharePoint site name search my list which is sports again just add as combos just map the ID there okay name this as uh, demo uh, for a selected sports item flow save it okay flow saved successfully right it's a uh, flow is ready to go now okay just refresh that uh, so the SharePoint list, select the record, go into Power Automate, and here you can see now, see that demo for a selected sports item flow. So this is quite an important one to remember always, that you need to create the flow under your default environment. Okay, so there is another way you can create it. You don't need to go under the flow to, you know, change, um, the environments and create it. What you could do is another technique is you can go here and go to the uh, integrate uh, power automate and create flow. And here, um, you know, you, you can you can select uh, you know one of the one that's available here from the template. You can delete all the other steps if you want. So look at this now here. By default, it has gone to the default one. So if you create this under the default then only it will appear in SharePoint list uh, integrate power automate options. Otherwise, your flow won't be visible. Hope this video is, video is useful. Thank you for watching.